Hi, Lee Ellis here with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, recently I've been thinking about discipline, self-discipline as a matter of fact. Maybe it's because I have to struggle with it some myself to get all the things done that I need to do. But I've also been thinking about it because I heard about the book uh, Make Your Bed by Admiral uh, William McRaven. Admiral McRaven was a Navy SEAL, but before that he was a student at the University of Texas. He graduated there. And a few years ago, he went back to give the commencement speech at the University of Texas, and that speech was entitled Make Your Bed. And it went back to these days as the Bud, in the Bud School, which is part of the training for Navy SEALs, Basic Underwater Divers School. And interestingly enough, the whole idea was that he learned to make his bed where they could bounce a quarter on it, which is typical in military boot camps. But that idea of getting up early in the morning and doing something that uh, was to high standards that you could be proud of and got you off to a good start for the rest of the day was number one in his points of his speech that day. Well, that speech that he gave has gone viral on YouTube, and he has a small book that I recently purchased a copy for all of my children and grandchildren. It's called Make Your Bed. But there are 10 lessons for life in it. But they all have to do with discipline and self-discipline. So I've been thinking about that because of myself, because of my grandchildren. I've got a grandson graduated from high school this year, and he's done really well. Very disciplined in his approach toward his work. But for all of us, the ability to see what needs to be done and to follow through and do it is really a secret to success in life. And as leaders, we have to do that ourselves, and it's hard to do it in every area. There are a lot of areas we like to do what we're supposed to do, but some things we're really swimming upstream. They're not our natural talents, and we have to coach ourselves to do them, to do those hard things. You know, life is difficult, and so as leaders, we can also help younger people understand that life is difficult and we can show them by example that we do hard things we do things we don't want to do you know as a prisoner of war we had to do things every day uh, the hardships there were not things that we chose to do we did it to survive and to get through one day at a time but one day success gave us confidence for the next day's success where sometimes we faced even bigger challenges well, our leaders set the example for us there. You know, whether you're talking about General Reisner or back then Lieutenant Colonel Reisner, uh, Commander Stockdale, Commander Den, and for me and myself, Captain Ken Fisher. You know, every day they set the example of doing the hard thing and showed us that they could survive, but not only that, but they could lead us to the place that we needed to be uh, to, in order to succeed in our mission by being tough and making those hard choices through self-discipline. So, I'm a big believer in it. I struggle with it like everybody else, but I try to coach myself along the way. So this month, I'd like to summarize by saying all of us face the music, do the hard things that we have to do, the right thing that we know we ought to do, even when it is hard, have the discipline to do that. And number two, set the example, and more than that even, let young people know that if you want to be resilient in life, if you want to be successful in life, you have to learn to bounce back, uh, take those hard lumps, and come back again. Be disciplined. Think of those Navy SEALs. You know, I think of them a lot. I've read several SEALs books, and they're tough. I don't think I could do what they do in that training. You know, it requires physical toughness, mental toughness, and uh, I'm a pretty tough guy, but I don't know, getting in the cold water of San Diego Bay and swimming around for a couple of hours, that's probably a lot more than I could take. But what those guys do, when I read those books, they inspire me that you just keep going another day. You don't ring that bell and quit. You keep going and you just say, I'll get through the next round. I'll get through the next round. And you have that kind of mental attitude and self-discipline that believes in the future and believes that by hanging in there, I will be able to accomplish my goals. That's how you get through four years of college. It's how you get to become a doctor. If you want to do that, it's how you become a fighter pilot. It's how you become a good fireman. Whatever it is you want to do in life, it's going to require you to do some things you don't want to do, and self-discipline will take you where you want to go. So lead with honor. 
be disciplined, and show others, and especially the younger generations, what that's like and why it's so important. And I look forward to seeing you next month.